Hey, folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Rod writing in on the email. He's got a viewer question. It's entitled, Want to Retire My Nikon 18-200 to Lens. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the 18-200, to it's a very popular all-rounder, walk-around lens, if you want to call it that. That's typically what we tend to refer to them as. It's a VR lens, so it's got vibration reduction. I think we've seen two or three iterations of it. I can't remember how many exactly. Um... And a very popular lens because it puts on, the reason we call that a walk-around lens is it gives you that long reach, that 18 to 200 ability. So um, popular lens, decent all-round image quality, not the best because you're getting an extreme range. And anytime you get an extreme range, you're sacrificing quality for convenience. However, lenses like this, there's a lot of people, a lot of pros that put these on that the, uh, what is it, the 28 to 300 is a popular lens. I think Scott Calby is a big fan of it. I think Terry White is too. So, I mean, these are these are decent lenses. Not They're not aiming to be the best image quality out there. They're aiming to give you a lens that you won't miss a shot with. And it's always better to get a decent shot than to get to, to miss a perfect shot. So Rod is saying, hi, Matt, as a lifelong Nikon user, film through digital, I've always used Nikon lenses. My first digital camera 12 to 13 years ago was a D200 with an 18 to 200 lens, and sometimes I'm still using the lens on my D7100. Unfortunately, it doesn't get much use because I feel the sharpness just isn't up to par with my other lenses, and the lens creep is bothersome. What's your opinion on using the new Tamron 18 to 400 as my all-around lens for general use? Thanks for helping us all in our quest to become better informed photographers. Rod. Well, thanks for your question, Rod. First off, I just want to say I have not shot the Tamron 18 to 400. So... Um, many of you know from watching the channel regularly, I'm not a big fan of Tamron. Not saying they don't make decent stuff. I know some people rave about certain lenses in the lineup. I just have had some bad experiences, namely the 17 to 50. Um, it's not an OS. I forget what they call their their uh, image stabilized lens. I had two or three of those, and I could not get a sharp one. I had three, so I sent it back a couple times. It kept coming back to me, and the center wasn't. And I just I, it turned me off. Um, Probably I should put that aside and try some newer Tamron lenses and see what I think. I remember actually I did try their 85. Was it their 85 F1.4? I think I reviewed that not too long ago, and it was a nice lens. Um, so, admittedly, I haven't shot the 18 to 40, uh, 18 to 400. What I would tell you right now is would have a look at my my first choice to look at for a lens like that would be the 18 to 300 from uh, Nikon great option. But if you're looking for that reach, and I, su I suspect you are for the 400, I think the best route you could possibly go, and it may be just a tad more expensive um, than you're thinking to spend, but the Nikon 200 to 500 is a beautiful lens. Also is full frame, so it leaves you wide open to upgrading into a full frame body later. But that 500 on your um, 7100 becomes an effective 750 which is a heck of a reach. It's extremely good performing lens, very sharp throughout the range, great VR. I loved it. I've shot it on DX and uh, FX. I shot it on a 610, and I, I don't know if it was a 7100 I had in or a 72 at the time. might have even been the 500. I forget what DX I shot it with. In any case, I love the lens. One of my favorite long lenses. It's a budget-priced lens. It's not very expensive. I think it's around twelve to $1,400. Um, if memory serves, I'll put a link below. Uh, I haven't looked at the price just recently, um, but fantastic performing lens. I was shooting it at the zoo, the Toronto Zoo, when I had it here, uh, and the reach on it was incredible, and the images I was able to get, fantastic, and it was a very, very good performing lens. I would take it over um, any of the DX lenses, um, th those, those ultra zooms you're looking at, and that Tamron any day. That's what I would do, uh, but what I'm going to do is throw it back to our viewers. How many of you are shooting with that 18 to 400 that Rod's looking at? That? Um, let us know what you think of it. Have you shot it and didn't like it? Uh, have you owned it and since sold it? Let us know in the comments below what your experience is, if you have experience with the 18 to 400 is, and um, would you recommend it? And then um, what do you think? Do you like my recommendation of going with the 200 to 500? I think it's a great lens. Do you own it? Have you shot it? Let us know what you think of that one. Um, the 18 to 3. Who's got that? Who's shooting that? Let us know in the comments below um, what your feedback is on that. What would you recommend to Rod here in this situation? Is there another lens you'd recommend to him that we haven't talked about? Let us know uh, what you would recommend and why and user feedback. 
It's always great to have little mini reviews for Rod. Um, always great to get your feedback when our viewers are writing in and have a, have a question, especially in this situation. I have not shot the Tamron 18 to 400. I do have uh, uh, extreme love for that 200 to 500 from Nikon. It's a great lens at a great price. Uh, and I like the 18 to 3. But let me know what you guys have to say in the comments below. Thanks for writing in, Rob. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.